Hello and welcome back to the Notable Norse. So, we are looking to create the Kingdom of Norway. We have taken some land back from our brothers. We have won a hard fought war up there in Iceland. So, how do we make Norway? Well, if we have a look here, you will see that we need 16 de jure counties, 250 gold, very easy with raiding, and two duchies. Two duchies is very easy as well because we have the entire duchy up here. Literally all we have to do, that's the wrong button, all we have to do, oh they actually destroyed it. Yeah, all we have to do is pay 125 plus uh, 300 prestige, uh, oh, actually that's uh, it gives 300 prestige. We only have to pay uh, 125 gold. That's incredible. So we can actually create it for 375. That's a very easy amount. Uh, and then we all only need to get five extra um, counties, which would be like one, two, three, uh, like four, five, something like that. Sounds good to me. Uh, we are going to hold the grand block, but we're going to hold it when we actually have, um, what, what is it? We're going to hold it when we have prisoners. So I think we're ready to go. Yeah, let's uh, move our raising troops up here. Uh, to the north and we'll wait like a month to let our troops reinforce although we are about to lose our mercenaries when are we losing them three months left you know what never mind war needs to be declared now declare war conquer county let's go raise armies didn't really mean to do it like that but that's okay i meant to raise them um all on the same province because i don't care about attrition because i'm just kind of going for it but hey whatever they called in their allies not really a problem for me. Uh, we should have been leading, but that's fine. My brother-in-law is injured. Oh no. I fear his body is not strong enough to fight uh, this on his own. I feel death lingering at his bedside. Okay, we've taken that land. We will merge all of our troops together. Uh, we will ransom. My mercenary company disbanded, which explains the lack of troops that we now have. Um, we are now leading. Let's see, seven months left. Why is this flicking back and forward? I don't know. Uh, my brother-in-law is still wounded. Okay, cool. Oh, is this severely wounded now? Okay, I'll take this battle. Continue throwing men into the uh, pile. That does not bother me. I was wounded. Now that does bother me. Because <laughs> if we die now, bad things happen to us. Like, really bad things happen to us in our realm. Because we are not positioned for that. Um, however, I also cannot afford to let somebody else control this army because we are the only person who can control it with the same skill. Yeah. Um, we're also, what happened to all of our, um, what happened to all of our adult population? <laughs> they appear to have all died. Um, I might have to hire someone. Yeah. Uh, wait, I didn't need to hire her, but still. <laughs> We're running out of uh, adult population. Uh, please don't raise your armies and attack me again. Aha! A new adult! Two new adults! Fantastic. Well, that's good. They can, they can help out a lot with, by being champions. As they will both be. I can hire you? Sure, I hire you. <laughs> right, uh, over here. Uh, what's this? Oh, I, she's currently imprisoned by someone? I should probably fix that. Uh, do I have a new chancellor then? Maybe, and the other one would... Neither of them are a good spy master though. I still put my, um, my first son as my chancellor. Okay, they're about to attack. Can we just get this? Fantastic, we captured them, enforced demands. Boom, got it, disband our troops. We now need to let them reinforce. Did we at least get another prisoner? Oh, we have six prisoners. We have our choice of prisoners. Oh, wonderful. Um, right, let's do some of this. Uh, can't ransom you. Can't ransom you. Can't ransom you. Can't ransom you. Ten gold, I'll have it. Right. Uh, you, I am definitely gonna recruit because it seems like you are a member of the adult population, and apparently that's my only requirement for being recruited right now. Uh, I will recruit. Uh, can I recruit? Yeah, okay. 
Uh, and one of you is going to die. Wait, that's my niece. I'm going to definitely rele release my niece. Yes, you're dead. Let's let everybody join. Cool. Hey, what happened to all the other prisoners? Where did they go? I don't know. Wait, who are you? My champion would like to marry the Inga. Sure. Sounds fine to me. Uh, a pre-arranged betrothal, I think, that I got in charge of. My children can marry. Wait, so this is... Um, yes, my, my son, vassal, and champion. Let's find somebody for him. Um, you can marry. How about you marry this... Uh, well, that's my niece. How about you marry... Um, hold. That sounds fine. Right. Also, how did your education come out? You got a 13. You also got a 13. You're almost identical. Like, actually, their stats are not that far off identical for twins. That's quite amusing. Oh, you already married. You married... Uh, her. Okay, sure. My half-sister Borg needs to marry. Uh, she can marry matrilineally. Um, this guy, I guess. Sure. Irsa, same thing. Matrilineally, she can marry Humbert. And then Skuld, my half-sister again, matrilineally, can marry uh, Scarfethen. Sure. Right. Let's let things roll. Wonderful. Wonderful. Just, you know, I guess we had a lot of deaths in the war. <laughs> and that's where all of our um, people went. That's fine, though. No? Uh, I can maybe grant land to my brother-in-law. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to grant land to my brother-in-law. I'm going to grant him this land. Sure. He becomes my vassal. He's not in line to anything. He doesn't have any family. Sure. Sounds good to me. Um, right. Cool. Now, you were at war with me, and you have 900 troops. You seem like my next target. Perfect. Uh, we need to let our troops reinforce, but I'd be happy to do that when we get a chance. Uh, you are great in here. I mean, you're not very good, but you are a powerful vassal, and we found a spot for you. Cool. I think I'm happy with where things are at. Now, if I check Norway, we should be at 12. We're at 12. Great. Let's unpause and let our troops come back for two seconds. Okay. That was a lot of stuff that happened there. Oh, yeah, block. There we go. Uh, I'm going to maybe just invite the people of the court to our block. Let's see. I do have a human sacrifice, though. When that opportunity appears. Which it should any moment now. There we go. Human sacrifice. Uh, sorry about this. You're not very pleased at me, I see. Okay. Right. What's this? The clear wars. Not worried about that. Just chill for a second. Though the gathering is small, the atmosphere at the blot is enthusiastic, with many happy Asturians uh, jostling and jeering as a uh, steer car is dragged up to the altar. The first of several prisoners and more beasts. Truly a spectacle worthy of the gods. So, uh, I think we're going to rub shoulders with the common people. Oh, it's still seven years in this. When we looked at it previously, it looked like we were going to have like this scaled, but no. I actually don't understand, like, why we would pay for a bigger group. I guess it's just the people who went to the feast will like you more. Yeah, every invited county you get this bonus in. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, whatever. That's fine. We'll take it. Is the blot over? I think the blot is over. Cool. We have 3.5 thousand troops. You have 900. Uh, this is my brother-in-law. You're married to my half-sister, Freya. Oh, cool. Uh, your land is my land. Right. Raise our armies. We'll let them raise up fully before we head in. Make sure we get everybody ready. Nice. You're going to head up there, and you are also going to head up there. Amazing military tactics. Point yourself at the enemy. 
Spouse opinion plus 50 and skills from spouse uh, counselor task. How much does our spouse currently give us per thing? Plus three, plus one, plus two, plus one, plus one. Okay, cool. And she also doesn't really like us, so this is going to be great. Loyalty and respect. She now kind of likes us, and we get plus four. Plus two, I think the plus four, plus two, plus two. So it must give a minimum of one. So that's actually pretty good. Yeah, it just basically improved our stat line across the board. I'll take it. And call in our ally. Seems on uh, not like a good thing to do. I also did not take any uh, concubines in the previous war. Although I definitely had options. Yep, my bad. Okay, and now we're just going to siege. Uh, do you by any chance, did you by any chance just declare war on the person who I'm fighting? No. So where are these people coming from? Where are they going? There's a neutral army just hanging around. Um, I'd be delighted if your son Hjalmar could visit my court in uh, Torfshan to meet his peers. Inviting everyone of note, uh, which unfortunately includes him. Wow, how rude. Especially as you're a 12 year old, but sure, he'll be there. Wait, are you under, you're underneath me. Why are you so rude? You let my daughter Bodolt be there as well. Sure, she can go. That doesn't bother me. Right, uh, we have three trials by combats that we can set off right now. Not really our thing at this exact moment in time. We gained a stress level? Why? Do I just naturally have stress going up or something? Okay. By the Norns, petitioner from the realms, uh, petitioners from the realms uh, have been queuing up lately. This work feels endless, yet another one steps forward, evidently a distressed merchant of some kind. If you come for justice, know that I uh, do not overrule my judgments just for petty coin. The merchant gops at me, blinking rapidly in shock. Was it something I said? Become reclusive. I can severely injure myself, or I can say, nah, I'm good. Um, nah, I'm good, I think. <laughs> Out of those three options. Uh, let's pick a personal deity as well. I think they're, they're not one that reduces stress gain. Not at all. All right, I'm going to take Devotee of Uller to make us even better in the winter. Uh, Uller, right? Oh, I'm already under Uller. Never mind. Right, I already have Uller's Blessing. Oh, and that's... Oh, that must be what this... Oh, no, I must have double movement speed boost in the winter already. That's awesome. Okay. I have an open steward position. Uh, Steerbjorn can have it. Although... He would be a good marshal, but yeah, I think he's... I think having a steward who's good at his job is probably worth it. Right. Oh, my brother Tolier died. That's what gave us the stress. Oh, no. His land went to his son, a Heliarskin, named after our father, and that is also a bleeder. So, yeah, we definitely want to avoid uh, anyone from that line being in charge. Two people returned from their, um, from being at someone else's court. Fine. You attacked me with 500 troops and you let me capture you, so I guess I'll just enforce my demand. You know what? No, I'm going to continue sieging. I want concubines. Let's keep going. Right. Now let's see who we got. I did get people I can take. Right. You. I cannot take. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to negotiate your release and recruit you. Wait, that's actually my niece. So never mind. <laughs> um, My brother-in-law. I'm also... Oh, he's the person who... I have the war against. I'm gonna recruit this dude. And I'm also gonna recruit this dude. Everyone's getting recruited. Wait for these to go through, because otherwise they get released from the war. Right. Cool. Although maybe uh, we could take her as a concubine. Right, enforce demand. That's gone through. Uh, when is... So, next year. Okay, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. We need a guardian for Bodil. Bodil, uh, what are you doing? You're doing learning? I don't see a re... Well, you know what? I do see a reason to change it. Because learning's boring. We'll give you stewardship. Right, uh, and then we will choose a guardian. Uh, stewardship. Humber, you're going to teach her stewardship. Nice. Anyone else have anything worth looking at? The active election. We're still voting for Ufhilda. Uh, I think I'm going to switch that to my first son. Yeah, I'm going to switch that to uh, Von. 
yeah, I, he's not very good, but right now, until we get their inheritance thing sorted, I think he's the best we have available in case of random death. We can also negotiate an alliance with them right now. Um, sure. Sounds good. Right. We still don't have any concubines who are actually worth taking, apart from maybe Evictus. You know what? We'll have a poet concubine. Sure. That's fine. Right. Um, carrying on. Uh, you have now accepted the alliance. I'm going to disband my troops. Okay, cool. Right, so we should now be at 13, I think. Just trying to get the right spot here. Uh, Norway. We're at 13. Okay, so we need another two. Now, I'd love to attack this guy, but he is a little bit stronger and has allies. So this is a problem. How about you? You have allies. One of them is my vassal. This guy, 3,000 troops. <laughs> my god. Upland. You are being attacked in many, many wars, defending against a, um, a subjugation war by these guys. Okay. We could probably attack this one. You only have 3,000 troops now. You are um, allied to Holland, but that's okay. I think I wait for my troops to reinforce two ticks and then we uh, attack. Yeah. I'm going to take this one. Declare war. Conquer county. Let's go. Uh, we're going to move our armies to raise up here. Right. Raise all of our armies, which they'll all raise in the same spot just based on where it is. Then we'll just go. I think they put theirs on a boat, which is about the worst idea they could have done. I might be wrong, though. No, no, they're waiting for us. Uh, I want to lead. Let's go. Still thinks we'll win. We are winning. We have won. Yep. And then, then they land another 600 on us for us to defeat them as well. Right. And 19 months is a really long time. Uh, let's put a our heir in charge because he's good at sieging. So now we're down to 19 months. Okay, cool. Though I think it's going to jump uh, a little bit. And now we just chill. Right. Uh, people are gaining opinion of us. Love it. My daughter um, has... Wait, is this? Yeah, so we have a daughter. We we'll call it Unar. Right. We're getting there. How many months left? 11. Yeah, it's pr pretty much taking the time it thought it would. But that's fine. We are losing a little bit in terms of... Uh, Supply, that's fine. She's formed a new alliance with Kanak, who have 61 troops. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm absolutely terrified. Absolutely terrified. My brother-in-law, Humpert, died. I think he died in this battle. Irsa can marry again. All right, well, here's another one. Continuing our uh, siege. We're at six months left. We are going to run out of supply. Yeah, okay. This is a difficult one to take. I'm happy we did it now rather than later. We also have a dangerous faction, which I guess we're going to have to get rid of, but that's fine. We've taken it. We captured her. Um, let's see. I can't ransom him for anything. Can't ransom him for anything. Let's, uh, let's do a recruit. Uh, a recruit and a recruit cool we'll wait a second or two. Oh, and you know what I'll ransom you back for 50 gold it's actually something that we can do because we have all of the land underneath anyway cool done that now I'm gonna enforce demands that takes us takes the land and gives it to us nice disband our troops cool we still have a dangerous faction. Hjalmar, uh, what are you doing? Uh, no, you're having a martial education, Hjalmar, my son. Uh, and in fact, not only are you having a martial education, you're being educated by the best person with martial. I mean, I think we're not that bad, but you're also pretty good. Well, we'll educate you, sure. Be our ward. Right, what's this faction? 
Gaelic Catholic populace. What? No, 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 I don't think this is a real faction. Yeah, they were, we're going to destroy them. They got negative popular opinion due to a uh, chafing control because of our marshal. Ah, I see. Well, there's not a lot I can do. Usually my plan would be to hold a block, but I don't imagine they'd be too happy about that. Uh, this new land that we've got here, I'm going to give away. Um, building currently disabled will re-enable next month. Okay. It is, does have full buildings, though. It's actually pretty good. What else do we have? So what's within one duchy over here? I think these three are? Or the, yeah, I think the top three are within one duchy. Uh, actually, this one. Wait, that, yeah, never mind. So that one's the top. Yeah, so these... These three are within one duchy, so everything else isn't. So this one we can probably give away. Uh, do we have somebody to give it away to? We do have another son, but he's only six. Um, do you need to marry? You're not in my court. Okay. You. Uh, we're going to give it to my brother-in-law here. Grant him that land. Cool. Right. That should help a little bit. Now we're five of six. <laughs> what else do I hold? Oh, I do hold this one up here. Yeah. This one I'm going to give away to... I have a lot more siblings who have, uh... You hate me. Well, uh, unlawfully executed family ma- You know what? Maybe I'm not going to give that particular one land. Uh, Sif? Your, your husband seems pretty affable. Yeah, let's give him some land. Right. Cool. That's good. So all of that being given away, that means that we're under the right amounts there. Right, let's let this reinforce slightly and see where we end up. Because it might go away. Yeah, it might go away in a second. Once we reinforce to max. Peacemaker. Peace acceptance goes uh, down by 10%, so we need to... Uh, only need 90% to take land now, which is not bad. It's not incredibly useful for the wars we've been doing, but, you know, it's not bad. Um, it's useful in longer wars where you're kind of struggling to reach the end. I think I want to attack these two. You're currently at war with each other. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take your land. Yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> Where, where are my troops? Ah, there we go. Move them up here. Go and do a raise all in one province. But that's the right one. Uh, I want to raise all here. Cool, let them all raise. I know I did this when we could potentially have uh, got rid of our dangerous faction. I decided I didn't care. <laughs> was, was my uh, thing with the faction. Yeah, uh, we're going to lead this one for the extra movement speed if it happens to become winter. And just march our way up here with 4,000 troops. Nice. To the beguiling Jarl Tyr, I will not stand for your vile oppression of faithful Catholics any longer. Our time is now at hand. With St. George guiding us, we will rise up and free ourselves from your heathen rule. Uh, you shall have it in death. Right. Let's see, how, how is this going for a siege? Nine months left. Hey, we got more people in our prison. You want to join me? Just immediately recruit everybody. Uh, if I leave half my group here, do I have enough to go and deal with these guys? No, I need to send everyone. Fine. I'll send everyone. Right, let's go. Uh, I will lead it myself as well. Oh, uh, my uh, new courtier I got now is an infected wound. Lovely, lovely. Right. We're attacking. We're going to destroy them. We did destroy them. Nice. Enforce demands. We now capture their leader. Hey, guess what? You're converting to my religion and you're recruited. Done. Level of fame went up. Let's go. Back to the other war. It's just one war to the other. Sliding in between. Know your place achievement. I don't know what that is. Maybe defeat a revolt. I do like how it gives you the achievements every single time. It's a little unnecessary though, but anyway. Uh, I could recruit you. I kind of want to save money at some point though. Oh, you know what? Instead of recruiting her, 
Uh, I'm gonna have you as my concubine. This person. How old are you? 38. You're too old to be a concubine, unfortunately, to be a, a useful one. Anyway. Uh, we still need some more. But we did get a 16-year-old concubine there, which is... Uh, that wasn't our niece, which is fantastic. I don't even know if we could make our niece our concubine. Uh, I assume not, by the fact that it didn't become an option. The sacking of Oster uh, Agther. Of the fall of the settlement of uh, Thirlingar to Chieftain Kettle, much of Oster Agther has been left bare to the rampaging Ringkorbinger looters. Uh, as there are few local fortresses of size left to oppose them, the raiders have carried off every precious item and scrap of silver they can find. Um, I will pay, well, I'll just take the prestige hit. It's fine. I'm going to split my army in half. We're going to leave that one there and send the other half back down here to deal with these raiders. Can I go over there and beat them up and still take my money back? Probably not, but it'll make me feel better. Child of my dynasty. And my half-sister has given birth to the daughter, Cecilia. Nice. A new claimant. In Chieftain Van's uh, inane efforts to improve my relations with my neighbors, uh, he has given somebody a claim. Opeland a claim. I'm not entirely a fan of that, but hey, there you have it. We've defeated that one. What are these people raiding me non-stop? Okay, well, head over there and defeat them. How's this one going? It's going fine. Right, back over here. We'll get there eventually. They're running away, as they should. Now need a new spy master. That can be uh, my brother-in-law, who we just gave land to. He loves me, because I gave him land. Right, siege happening up here. Forging the Yom's Vikings. Chieftain uh, Hastein. Or, um, an, an enterprising Nordic adventurer has launched a vicious invasion against Kajetin, sweeping the lands of Woolen out from under him in a surprise attack. What makes this unusual is that the invasion seems to, be, uh, seems to have had a religious motivation. Hastin uh, has partnered up with an, Aristat an Asatru uh, zealot named Riefel to set up a warrior brotherhood they call the Yom's Vikings. The group claims they will enforce the old ways, striking against the Abrahamics, reformists and rival pagans alike, breathing a bloody swathe up and down the waters of the Baltic. All shall know Odin's wrath, or hmm, competition you say. Either one is the same. Uh, I'm, I'm all about that, yeah, I like the Yom's Vikings. We don't have to pay to make them as well, which makes them even better. Right, All right. to finish the siege, just finish the siege. Wait, what other land? Oh, they also took the land up here. Oh, that's terrible. Why is that terrible? Well, it means, one, we have to go and siege it. Uh, oh, prisoner captured in siege. Yeah, perfect. Um, make concubine. Done. Right. Uh, second of all, um, it mean yeah, one, it means that we have to siege more to win. But second of all, it means that uh, we can't take the other province we need from the guy who's right above because, well, that war is over. Right. Um, which also means they prioritized their wars very well. Because that war meant that they didn't lose all of their land. The battle, on the other hand, they didn't do so well with. I mean, I think they're just retreating up here, right? This is their only other bit of land. Hey, it reached 90% and they were willing to surrender. See, that's what the extra um, peacemaker thing gives us. It means we don't have to wait all that time. Yeah, I'll take the enforced demands. That's fine. Uh, to the abhorrent uh, Jarl Tyr, may humors rot in your living body. You're a much greater fool than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Cool. To disband our troops. We have a little extra land up here. And that puts us at... 15 of 16. <sighs> so close. So close. Right. New bit of land. Do we have another brother-in-law who we can give this land to? Org. Your husband does not hate me. Congratulations. He is the new landed vassal. Right. We now need a singular piece of, la uh, piece of land. Just one. One. Wefa Finn piece of land. We might have enough to take this one. I mean, overall, yeah, they have 4.8 thousand troops, but we have... 
a reasonable number of troops on our side as well. Hmm. Well, that's something to consider for next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.